it's 6.45 now, we've got just over two hours to do this. Uh, we've got no plan, we don't know what we're doing yet, uh, but we'll see. This is for the, what's it called, it's light the sky thing? That, I don't know, I don't know, we're all bored in this lockdown and we all just want to play with our sound systems, but we'll get in trouble for that, so we're playing with our lights instead. So right now we're thinking of what is the quickest way that we can ram every single one of the lights that we've got in the easiest way possible onto probably this bit of truss and that bit of truss and all these other things that we've got here. Um, we're probably not going to use those bits or anything. <laughs> and we will see if we can uh, get this in some sort of way that we can get it out and put in some light show on a building. I think we're going to try and do it if Verdant works because that's as far as our power cables will run from the lockup. And no one can see our lockup, it's not really that interesting. So, thoughts on it, Mitch? Aye, uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. We'll do what it says on the tin. We'll, uh, we'll just try and, we'll try and light everything up a little bit. <laughs> Everything's going to get dragged out now. Oh dear. Even the old rusty smoke machine, maybe. And some of the old broken cans and stuff. Anything that we've got in the old Narnia case. Ooh, maybe not. So we started doing uh, what looks like just making a lot of mess. We're pretty much just throwing anything that we can get really, really quick onto there. We've dragged out anything that we've got really. So yeah, we're uh, getting there. Okay, it is now quarter to eight and uh, we are well, we've got an hour if we want to get this done, um, so I'll just show you what we've been doing. So we're just kind of, you know, running through some programmes of a patch that we previously already had from another gig. We've just rocked that up and we've just got everything onto that one. We're replicating the same on this one right now and we're just going as quick as we can. I'll give you a quick run through of how uh, stuff like this works. So, in Lighting World, basically, uh, it's got a thing called a DMX address, which I will show you here. So the back of all these lights is basically um, different addresses and such that you'll see. And uh, a DMX address is basically a way of assigning so that we can see all these lights when we're programming them. Everything plugs in and communicates over these. It's not an XLR like a microphone cable, it is a DMX cable, it has a different uh, resistance, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, um, they can do 512 addresses across one universe. Uh, I'll explain later what that means, but this is just a really, really quick rushed lighting job today because we just found out that lighting companies and stuff are doing this some point this afternoon and we, we just want to take part, so we've dusted everything off and we're doing it as quick as we can. So right now Mitch is sitting assigning everything to the patch and we just threw what we had on to some truss. Uh, we're currently trying to remember how to program it to do rainbow because um, they'll, you know, all the key workers and the rainbow and stuff like that. If not, we'll just have it blue for Scotland. Now in Lighting World, lights run on different things like different amounts of channels and such, and that depends on how many things they can do. This, for example, bare minimum because it'll just have red, green, and blue, and a fade and a strobe function maybe. So this has a lot more channels because it moves and it does a little dance. And they can rotate, they can uh, obviously move in lots of different angles, pan and tilt and whatnot, and they can uh, change to little patterns and stuff. Can't they, Mitch, if they've got little gobos? Yep, so they do little gobos and stuff that are quite pretty. Uh, so those are, I can't remember what they're called, they're the moving heads. <laughs> we call these the moving pars. I can't remember what they're called, but they're basically a par can that moves. Uh, this would probably be a much different video if it was an actual lighting person demonstrating this to you, but I'm a sound girl that does lights, so I say they're on. They're there, they're on, and they're kind of looking rainbow. I'm loving it. Okay, so we're on location, and uh, we're not set up yet. <laughs> Mitch's way to get sound, which is going to just be a little shout box. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you what we've done then. We've run power just around there. Our lockup is just around that corner there. Um, well, our other lockup anyway. And so we've done that. We've blasted it all up onto this beautiful local building. This is Verdant Works. Uh, absolutely gorgeous listed building in Dundee. Uh, we've set up a little front of house just across the road. 
So for all your health and safety needs, we've got rubber matting for the absolutely no one that is passing here. My light the sky. So it is just going on that time and we're almost ready. We're just plugging in the tunes right now. But yeah, as you can see, we've got all the lights on the go. Um, Mitch, give me some rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> 